This is your WGBW Daily News Roundup for the Talk of Green Bay, 97.9 FM and 1590 AM. Civic Media News. I'm Terry Bell. Here's what Wisconsin needs to know. Stand up, fight back! University of Wisconsin-Madison leaders say they'll talk to protesters about their demands only after they remove an encampment they put up on campus. Protest leaders tell reporters any decisions they make depends on how the UW responds to their demands to cut all ties with Israel over the war in Gaza. Crime is going down, but people tell their local leaders public safety is their top concern. Danny Thompson is Waukesha's police chief. He says people should tell candidates this election year to work with local law enforcement. One is helping training is important. Two is educate our kids not to get involved in crime and drugs and things in nature. And, and three is that engagement piece and being in partnership with the community. Thompson speaking with Wisconsin Eye. A new CBS News poll finds Donald Trump and President Biden about even in Wisconsin. The survey of registered voters finds 50 percent back Trump, while 49 percent support Biden. Only a third tell the poll the economy is going fairly good or very good, while 65 percent think it's very bad or fairly bad. Consumer groups accuse big grocery retailers of price gouging. Angela Hoffman is the president of the group Farm Action. It's one thing to raise your prices to cover higher expenses, but what these companies did is use the pandemic as an excuse to exploit the American people who needed to put food on their tables. And the FTC report shows that they're still doing it. That report finds retailer profits rose 7% in 2023 compared to 5.6% in 2015. Wisconsin's annual Pothole Patrol is underway. Governor Evers was in Menominee Monday to launch a new round of pothole filling. As usual, the governor used the occasion to remind drivers to slow down for road crews as road work season ramps up again. I'm Terry Bell, Civic Media News. Now here's what you need to know closer to home. For WGBW News, I'm Lisa Hale. Green Bay Area Public Schools and the City of Green Bay broke ground Monday on a renovation for the Del Marcel Stadium for Green Bay West High School. Mayor Eric Genrich. This is a partnership between the City of Green Bay and our Green Bay Public Schools. This is technically a city park. We have a lot of joint interest in land that's closely associated with our, our schools throughout the city, and this is a really unique and important one. Funding for the synthetic turf, new lighting, and practice field come from a referendum approved by voters in November of 2022. Green Bay Area Public School District receives a check for $20,000 from the Madison-based WEA Members Benefit Foundation. Steve Goldberg presented the grant at the Board of Education meeting last night. And one thing that I'm aware of during Mental Health Awareness Month is that the Green Bay School District has an extremely enlightened, holistic, and proactive and systemic approach to student mental health. The unrestricted grant comes just before May's Mental Health Awareness Month. It will be used to continue and sustain work to support students' mental health. Appleton International Airport logged the busiest month it's ever had in March with over 100,000 passengers. The airport also broke records in 2023 with just under 970,000 total arrivals and departures. Officials say these numbers make Appleton's airport the fastest growing one in Wisconsin, and they expect to see over 1 million passengers in 2024. Appleton International Airport services American, Delta, United, and Allegiant Airlines. The Wisconsin's Grassroots Network presents the 15th Annual Grassroots Festival at Lawrence University Saturday. Jane Benson with WGN. The Sierra Club, Wisconsin Conservation Voters, Medicare for All, all kinds of different organizations are are setting up tables. And then all the attendees come in and they're looking to connect with those organizations. The festival is to promote democracy, justice, and equality throughout Wisconsin. Tickets are available at the door and online. The Biden-Harris administration has launched the America the Beautiful Freshwater Challenge, which sets a national goal to protect, restore, and reconnect 8 million acres of wetlands and 100,000 miles of rivers and streams. Over 100 inaugural members, including the city of Green Bay, have already agreed to support freshwater restoration in their communities. 
Nestled between Main and Cedar Street in the Arts District of Green Bay is an unassuming building that houses visual arts of all kinds. It's called the Art Garage. Naomi Mose is a sculptor and is on the board of directors. Art isn't just sculpture, painting, it's everything. It's music, it's written word. The Art Garage celebrates the past 12 months with a free gallery pop-up with food trucks, prize raffles, and more tonight from 6 until 8 p.m. General inland fishing season opens Saturday. All Wisconsin residents and non-residents over the age of 16 are required to purchase a fishing license. There are bag and length limit changes for fish species in Brown, Manitowoc, Marinette, and Oconto counties. Check the DNR Fishing's webpage or contact your local fisheries biologist to find fishing locations and any information you may need or want. And that's what you need to know. I'm Lisa Hale, WGBW News. Giannis and Dame are doubtful. Hi, I'm Mike Clemens with sports. It comes down to tonight's Game 5 in order for the Bucks season to continue. The Pacers lead the best of seven playoff series three games to one. Giannis and Ted Acupo and Damian Lillard both listed as doubtful due to injury. Head coach Doc Rivers. Chris, I do know that if he's going to be okay. He felt pretty good after the game again. Um, Pat, we're going to have to get a something check. I think it's his um, ribs or something, so we're not sure. Baseball, the Brewers losing to the Rays on a controversial interference call at the plate in the ninth inning. Tampa Bay walks away 1-0 at AmFam Field. NFL, the Packers drafted rookies coming to Green Bay for a minicamp this weekend. Well, I think it's going to be a very competitive situation. You know, it doesn't matter necessarily whether you're a second round pick or you're a UDFA. I mean, our job is to find the best players to go out there and compete at a high level and everybody's going to get an opportunity. That's Packers head coach Matt LaFleur with sports. I'm Mike Clemens. I'm Pete with the 62nd Showbiz Beat. Zendaya's film Challengers aced the competition at the box office over the weekend, pun intended. The sexy R-rated drama set in the world of tennis pulled in $15 million at the domestic box office. The movie was a hit with viewers under 35, and distributors think it could stay in the top spot until The Fall Guy is released later this month. The other new release that cracked the top five and finished at number two is Unsung Hero. Unsung tells the story of a family of Christian musicians. Rounding out the top five are Godzilla x Kong, The New Empire, Civil War, and Abigail. Are you not a fan of three-hour movies? Well, you're not alone. According to a new study by Talker Research, the average American likes a film to be 92 minutes long. The results of the poll showed that only 15% of Americans want to sit through a movie that is two hours or longer. Only 2% of those polled felt a movie should be longer than two and a half hours. It is unclear how many of them are named Scorsese. For more showbiz fun, tune in to Nightlight with me, Pete Schwaba, weeknights from 7 to 9 p.m. on the Civic Media Radio Network. Partly cloudy this morning, becoming sunny this afternoon. We'll get to 65 for a high today. The wind out of the west at 5 to 15. Tonight, partly cloudy in the evening. A chance of an isolated thunder shower after midnight. Our low down to 50. Tomorrow, mostly sunny, 71 with more showers. Tomorrow night, I'm meteorologist Sean Cable. Right now, it's 48. That's your WGBW Daily News Roundup from Civic Media. Subscribe to this podcast on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you find your podcasts. Find more news at WGBW.FM.